super easy hologram for your front yard. A very successful decoration I did last year. And how do you go about it? You buy tool, T-U-L-L-E. And um, you just stretch it out in front of your gate. I'm lucky enough to have a beautiful gate uh, to do this decoration, but you can do any framing you want. And the effect is pretty outstanding. So you stretch it out and I use zip tie and I decided to do it in two layers from last year because one layer, I don't know, there wasn't, uh, the image wasn't showing enough because I use a simple LED projector. So quite frankly, I have about 20 minutes of installing to do uh, for each side and using zip ties you're going to see me using a white zip tie there and it just destroys the effect make sure you use black zip ties and even the right at the left side you see that it's not properly done thank god i did this on speed because you couldn't hear the audio because i was swearing a little bit let's continue for the other side you know, very often I'm asked, Eric, why do you rush so much? Well, it's a question of uh, deadlines and having so much to do before the show date. That's the way I call it. So, oh, I just put that white zip tie there, as you can notice. And I'm going to, as soon as I finish this tutorial, I'm going to change it for a black one. So install it again uh, because I use an LED projector and because I have a street light facing my yard, um, the image uh, doesn't show well enough unless I use two layers. So again, super easy, relatively cheap to buy the tool and the effect is great. There you go. The tool is installed. Did a better job on the left side than, or the middle part than the left side, but you'll see. It's not really going to show with a projection this evening. I'm a big fan of using what I already have in my garage because these projects can get a little expensive. And I was inspired by many YouTube videos to create this uh, tombstone that, is, that holds my projector. And I've attached those pegs underneath it so that my grass will not be uh, damaged because uh, I'm going to be leaving this out for two for a good two weeks. And these pegs, once neatly attached, um, they're great because you can adjust the height of the projector to make sure the bottom frame is flush with the ground. There is a projector inside of its box protected from the rain and the box is about an inch and a half away because of those pegs from the grass to uh, keep it uh, keep the water draining and not to ruin the, the grass um, and inside you see the usb key and that's where i have the video is inside of the usb key the video is from atmos effects i'll put the link in the description and it projects on the gate. Make sure that the projector is behind the tool that is behind the gate. And I added this light, green light. I found that was a fun color. I've got enough red everywhere else because that light lights up the tombstone, which gives it this depth, the 3D effect of the hologram. Without the light, the effect of the hologram just looks like a regular screen, but this really gives a transparency and depth. So the effect is pretty awesome, as you can see right here. The sound you'll hear is from the projector. Uh, it's the original sound of the video. I don't bother plugging in a, a speaker because I'll have music during Halloween evening playing all over the place. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Like and subscribe and off to the next project. I'll see you around.